Potato Chip Picker here. Welcome to tonight's special episode, eBay Shipping for Beginners. Tonight I will be giving some tips on how to ship from eBay, as well as giving you some tips on getting free shipping supplies from USPS, from USPS.com. You don't want to miss tonight's episode, so stay tuned. Potato Chip Picker, on a quest to find some gems, me and Coco. We're gonna find them. See, here's a here's a bunch of boxes at your local retail store. There's just boxes everywhere. Welcome to shipping for beginners. So, basically, you're gonna need tape, scissors. Get yourself a scale. This is a USPS scale. I think I paid 10 bucks for it, but if you buy it from USPS, they're probably going to be 40 bucks. Um, I've had this thing for years. It works great. Ships up to 10 pounds. I also have this 100 pound U line scale. I think I paid $1.99. I've had this for many years as well. Got it at Goodwill. Works great for heavy items. And you're going to need boxes. Oh, you're being a good boy. Usually when you're quiet, you're eating something. Are you being a good boy? <laughs> He's a good boy. Good old Coco. Um, this is an example of a box that I picked out. Next is very important. Free boxes from USPS. Um, this is an easy way to get free boxes. Basically, log into your account. If you don't have one, just create an account for free. And then go to the postal store, shipping supplies. You're going to want to click on the free supplies. Free shipping supplies. And then... All of these that pop up are free. I always do packs of 10. 10. So you're getting 10 packs of 10. You get 100 of these things. And that's just one box. You'll get one box in the mail with 100 in there. So keep shopping. I also need more of those big boxes for the Xbox guitars. So I'm going to... Search 1095. I believe that's the box I use. The priority mailbox 1095. That's the one I use. So a pack of 10 will be fine. Uh, keep shopping. I think that's all I need now. So go to the checkout. Click your address. I don't know why it always does that, but... Check out, you want a box of priority flat rate envelopes, which are padded, and you want 10 of these 1095 boxes. Place my order. Total is zero. I agree. Success. It usually takes about a week to get them, so if you know you're running low, make sure you order them, because it will take a few days to get them. Not long, but a few days, um, and you don't want to run out and then be waiting on them. So that's about it. This is the shoe box for shipping shoe boxes or other items that fit. This is a regional rate A box. You could pack anything up to 15 pounds in here. If it fits, it ships. So this is good for your heavier items. This is another example of the regional rate A box. It comes in two different shapes. Um, also good for shipping heavy items. If you're going to ship an item two pounds or less, you're not going to want to use these because it'll cost more. 
but if you're shipping anywhere from three to 15 pounds, these boxes work great and can save you a lot of money. Um, this is the 1092 box. I prefer the 1095 boxes. Uh, I've got an example somewhere, but these are great for your longer items or for shipping those Guitar Hero guitars that I always sell. Uh, basically, leave one end open, combine the two boxes, and tape it in the middle, and it's a perfect box. I've shipped hundreds of the Guitar Hero guitars and never had a problem with them. So that's an easy way to ship those or any other long items. This is a small flat rate box. This envelope is, I believe, 10 by 13. This one is a three by nine. These are essential for shipping DVDs or books or anything. So I highly recommend you getting at least 100 of these if you're serious and at least 100 of these and you'll be set for a long time. Um, that way, when you get a DVD, you just pop it in here, seal it, and it's good to go. This is another essential envelope that I get free from USPS. Lastly, this is the medium mailing tube. This works great for baseball bats or for golf clubs. Sometimes you have to extend the box, use another box, if you have a long baseball bat or a long golf club especially. But great tool to use for mailing those long odd shaped items and they come for free and that's it for the boxes so since I have all these boxes and tape out let's package up some items and ship them out First, you want to go to My eBay. Then you want to click Orders and Awaiting Shipment. From here, you could select one order or multiple orders to make it easy for yourself. Then you will need to select the weights of the items and select your shipping preference. Then you need to pay for the shipping. Then print your labels. And there's your shipping labels. Who's at the door? Who is it? Who is it? Is that the postman? Yeah, is that the postman? Yeah, he's picking up our packages. Yeah, he's picking up our packages. So that's about it for tonight's episode. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message. I will try to answer everyone. Um, if you guys love these videos, please hit the subscribe button below and please hit the bell so you get notifications. I'm going to try to create another video for tomorrow night, but not sure on time. I know I said I would, but
but this video took me longer than expected. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and hopefully you will hear a bell tomorrow night, our regular Thursday night episodes, um, for more picks and goodwill finds with me and Coco. So see you guys later. Find anything? For me to poop on.